まあ、け、音オッケーですか。I think it's okay. Okay, that's. We are going to start. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to join us today. Hi. I'm Yoshie from Mizunara the Library, Mizunara the Shop in Hong Kong. We are broadcasting from Mizunara the Shop. I'm a shochu master from Kagoshima, and we are going to talk about shochu, Kagoshima shochu today. Yes. And so my name is Wayne. So I'm the sales and marketing team in Mizunara the Shop. So today I will be Yoshi to talk about and learn about some Japanese soju. So, do we start? Yes, and let's start. Yeah, now you see the slide. Let's start about talking about shochu. So I am shochu master, licensed shochu master, and then we are talking about what the soju, shochu, and sake is a different. And the home of shochu. The home of shochu is a Kagoshima, right? Uh, yes, you can say that too. But uh, uh, broadly, the like Kyushu is famous for Kyushu. Um, shochu. So Kyushu is a southern part of yes Kyushu Japan. area. Yes, Kyushu area, Kyushu Islands. Hmm. Consists of the nine prefectures. Okay. So yes. today we will talk about some history, some process, how to make soju, and also some benefit about drinking soju as well. Yes. So. So let's start at the what? I think shochu, kagoshim are the Japan Japanese shochu are not known well yet. I think many people know sake, but uh, uh, shochu is not known well, and then people are confused. Uh, is it soju? Yeah, because uh, when I talking with some uh, shop and then some uh, bartender or some chef, mm -hmm. they always have some question about what's the difference between sake. Japanese soju and Korean soju. Mm. So as you grow up in Kagoshima and you have expert in so Japanese soju, can you let us know what's the difference between the three types mm -hmm. of the spirit? Actually, until I learned about so shochu, I didn't know that what the difference is. But mainly it is that the shochu is hun uh, made from 100% natural ingredients. And usually it is at the one-time distribution. We call it especially the Honkaku Shochu. Honkaku Shochu. Honkaku Shochu. I think we can, do they have a, a, a label or logo mm -hmm. about Honkaku Shochu? Right? I think later we can show it. Yes. 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 And uh, Shochu is it's multiple distribution and uh, it's used that not many kind of ingredients, but the mixed ingredients are used like a grain. You mean a Korean soju, right? Yeah, Korean soju. Yeah, and then soju. you can infuse a lot of flavor inside. Is yes. It? Yeah. Yes. So you add some something after the distillation also. So that's the, the difference. And then that the alcohol percentage, the sake is around the thirteen to sixteen percent because it's not distilled and then just natural fermented. So it's this much, but the shochu is after distillation, it is around 40%, but uh, at the factory, it's diluted by um, 25% usually for especially Kagoshima Shochu. Mm. So usually it's 25%, but you can up to like 40% also. Yes, right? after distillation, it is very high alcohol percentage. Mm. Mm. So I think for benefit for everyone, because I think in Mishnah Shop, we have a lot of customer and guest is also from local as well. Mm. I think, let me explain in Chinese about the different, I mean, mainly for the Japanese sake and soju, mm. I mean, Japanese soju. So, the difference is, if Japan sake is a fahao, then everyone will know that it's usually used to buy it. If Japan is sold, it's usually used to buy it, it's usually used to buy it, like vodka, whiskey, etc. If they open it, maybe 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 they open it, 個温度比較緊要啲啦，咁但係如果燒灼嘅咧就會誒唔需要，即係可能你擺喺個 room temperature 就已經 OK 啦。咁如果最大嘅分別就係可能係 ABV 嘅上面啦，即係誒沙棘可能通常有低啲嘅十六左右啦。咁如果可能誒、呃、日本誒嘅燒灼咧就廿五度啦，起碼咁就就可能去到就四十幾度咁樣咯。Yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand that, that it's distilled spirit, so room temperature that, that you can store and look at the uh, if Unless it is under the, the strong sunlight, or then if you can, if you pro, uh, store proper properly, then there's so, no 
there's yeah. no the chef, life. chef life. Yes, that's a very good thing. So uh, today you open and drink, you can drink next week, yes. next month, yes. next year. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Next week, can we start to drink? Yeah, no. why not? <laughs> well, which and one do you want to try first? Well, uh, which one do you prefer to start with? Because we have the mm. brown sugar soju here, mm. we have some sweet potato soju here, mm. and we have some special soju here, but all are from Kagoshima. So, yes. which one you prefer to start with uh, first? So, I start, shall we start Diamond first? I think it's very refreshing. It's a the Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, it's Diamond. Diamond. It's, uh, <laughs> Diamond. it's made the uh, hot weather. Mm -hmm. So, it's good to have. Diamond, usually, I like to drink with soda, carbonated water. Yeah, carbonated water. So, I think for the Detail. I think later we will talk yeah. about the each and every bottle, the detail, but because can't wait, so <laughs> let us come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, so after the difference between soju and sake, mm. so should we talk about, yeah, some about history that. or some process? So let's see what we talk. So now that the answer me, I said that more detail about the soju. Soju is usually the uh, first. Uh, First process is made from the, the rice koji, rice koji, and then second fermentation it, that the natural ingredients add, and those ingredients decide that the flavor and what shochu those are. I think natural ingredient, as you have mentioned in Kagoshima, the main natural ingredient is sweet potato and also the yeah. brown sugar, right? Yes, they are. Five ingredients here. Those are very popular. That the ingredients for shochu, um, the rice, uh, kumamoto is very famous for, and the barley oita is famous. And soba shochu is very rare, but there is also. And uh, as Win said, that the uh, sweet potato and the brown sugar shochus are known as kagoshima shochu. Mm. But which one your favorite? I mean, sweet potato, brown sugar, or uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think maybe it's a different purpose, right? Mm. If you drink it as a high ball, high ball is mean like adding soda inside, mm. or if you pair with some food, it's different, right? Yes, that's a, um, I think the thing is that uh, making the people confused, but uh, there are many ingredients, there are many style. Mm -hmm. So not many people know what uh, what shochu is, but they are the, the good thing. I I think it's a good thing that we have variety, mm -hmm. and then flavors are different. And the for me, it's very difficult to choose one. But uh, I choose that the uh, bottle uh, by that the feeling, mm -hmm. the time. Yes, like, I think it's like it's... for example now that the uh, diamond is very like a lychee flavor. You see the drum, right? right? And uh, very refreshing for that hot weather. Mm. And uh, if you want to uh, have it in the late night, then you may have like a material shochu in the cask also. Mm. That's getting that uh, I think uh, getting the popular as well. But I will explain later. But uh, some shochus are like like are uh, mature in the cask or the in the tank more than like 10 years, mm. like that. So as you see in the slide, those are the, the Kagoshima Shochu's level. It, this is not all of them, but so many levels. And then... So, uh, how, well, so what's the meaning about the, mm. the, the two, Satsuma Shochu and also the bottom one? These are the logo. Uh, the top one Satsuma Shochu logo is that uh, geographically I, uh, ident uh, identification. Mm, I think but, you can see that. Yeah, yeah that level. If you get yes. certified by as a Satsuma Shochu, you can have it on the level. But these are the uh, Imo Shochu, the sweet potato Shochu made in Kagoshima area. So if a sweet potato soju that make in Kagoshima can have this mm -hmm. label. Yes. And uh, bottom one is the uh, um, Amami Kokuto Shochu. Kokuto Shochu is that the brown sugar shochu 
uh, which is made in Amami Island in Kagoshima only, only in the island. Only with, in, uh, with the brown sugar. Yes, this one, right? This one. Yeah, yes. Yes, let me show to everyone. This right. is a uh, SWAT certified as uh, Amami Kokuto Shochu. So for those who don't know where the Kagoshima is, I'm going to show. This is the Japan map. Japan map, yes. And uh, north part is Hokkaido. You uh, maybe many of you might might be there. <laughs> might be there <laughs> before COVID. And then Tokyo, Shikoku, and then this this area is Kyushu. The bottom, the southern part, right? Yes, southern part, this part. And Kagoshima is this area which circles in red line. And those a very wide area contains contains that the small islands. Mm. The mainly in the those small islands, kokuto shochu are made. And in this small area, we have. Can you guess how many distilleries are there? You mean soju, right? Soju, soju distillery. Hundred. Yes, Maybe. yes, around that. Uh, it, there are 113 distilleries now currently in Kagoshima only. So, I have one question. So, like when you say you have 100 plus distillery, soju distillery in Kagoshima, mm. so how many sake pour in Kagoshima? Because you're saying, as you have mentioned, in Kagoshima, a lot of people drink soju more than sake. Yes. So, how many sake pour in? As I know, Kagoshima? as I know, there's only one distillery. Only one making sake. I think it's very difficult to so make unique. that. I think it's a doubt. Usually sake is made in the, the cold area. Uh, climate area. Mm -hmm. So that one company is challenging to make sake locally in Kawashima. So it's one process 100 plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I will, some days I want to try the sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's actually that the same company as the, the Dayame. Mm. Uh, is making and also because that uh, the many company distillery knows that uh, um, technique of distillation so some companies are trying to make whiskey as well so mm -hmm. I've heard there are three whiskey distilleries as well in Kagoshima mm. Mm. so the, the main part is also soju right yes only soju. yes 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 so let's back that uh, yeah, it's only that the three three hours flight from Kagoshima to Hong Kong before COVID there was a direct flight uh, very close hopefully mm. yes I think three so, hours is very close yes yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe one we beat one movie mm. and two movie yeah <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot finish two movies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two. okay. <laughs> You, you fly back to Hong Kong, you fly back and we turn flight, you can watch mm -hmm. the rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can go after maybe the, the, uh, the flight resume. Yes. That wins to do this in the future. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then let's, uh, let's go through that uh, procedure of making shochu. So first, the main most of that the shochu are made from rice koji. Not all of them. But the first fermentation, uh, it goes through, and then after that, the main ingredients are added for the, the second fermentation. And uh, it's after the fermentation is distilled. So I think for the soju, for most of the soju. First part will be similar, right? They will mm -hmm. have some koji inside. Yes. Koji is made with some yeah. rice, right? Yes, rice. So this is the rice. This is at the sample which that the uh, Machida Shuzo of that uh, Sato no Akebono shared with us. Uh, that is the rice. So it's uh, it's used for the first fermentation. And then second fermentation ingredients. So we have a sample today of that uh, brown sugar. Yes. The, we don't have the sweet potato, but we have brown sugar, brown sugar like this. So they, if you use that the brown sugar for that the second fermentation, it becomes that the, 
uh, Kokuto Shochu. And they go through that uh, one time distribution process and then stored and aged and bottled. Does that? Uh, I think some of the soju I see in the market, they've aged, right? Mm -hmm. In a cask. But as I know for the soju, you cannot, color cannot be too dark. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Like whiskey, you cannot exactly. call it soju anymore. Exactly. I hope that in the future that uh, regulation will change. <laughs> change, but the, the currently there is a regulation that, that shoju has, uh, shouldn't have that uh, darker color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So before bottling it's filtered or it's diluted with other shoju and it has to have that uh, a lighter color. And these are the sample of the, the koji there are three kinds of koji, rice koji, uh, white koji, black koji, and it says ogon koji, but uh, it's known as uh, the yellow koji. Mm -hmm. So those kojis are used for uh, shochu. But for sake, I think for sake they make with koji as well, right? Yes. So what kind of koji they will use in sake? So shochu, as I said, uh, there are three kinds of koji, but the for sake, only that the yellow koji is used. Yellow mm. koji is very difficult. It's a, uh, it, easy to get be bad in mm. that uh, um, warm, warm area, the hot area, hot climate area. That's why that it's difficult to make sake in Kagoshima, the or southern part of Japan. Uh, but the, the yellow koji shochu has very nice flavor as well so some of some distilleries are trying to make using uh, yellow koji mm, I think well. we have one bottle that is made with a sweet potato and yellow koji mm, yes yeah yes, this yes. one is a back sweet potato mm -hmm. right yes it's very rich aroma and mm. yes we will try it mm. <laughs> yes that's all that done, but uh, white koji and black, black koji is very popular to be used and now we are drinking straight. Yes. <laughs> this is that how to enjoy shochu. So you can choose many. I think style. if you have straight soju, you can taste the aroma more straightforward mm -hmm. and more natural. Mm -hmm. Is but that the I way your your? You know, I have I go to one bar in Hong Kong and they make the soju highball with this bottling, the Moi Yose. So this one is a big sweet potato as well, and they mix top up with high boy and slice of lemon. Very good afterward. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I think this is the reason why you say uh, in it changes, yeah. If you people like, will drink so you after work, right? Yeah. Is it kind of like a replacement of beer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because uh, if like say twenty five percent of the ABV and then you add some soda inside, it's bring down to eight to five, eight mm -hmm. to ten. If, if, maybe. if you dilute half and half, it becomes like 12%. Mm. So, so that as one. you see on the slide on the, the right right bottom corner, this is that we call the shochu highball. Mm. Mm. It's very refreshing and nice too. And on the rocks and Misunari, misuwari. misuwari. Yes, I just add the word misuwari. It enhances that aroma more, so it changes that the um, uh, the shochu shochu flavor. Mm. So you can drink straight on the rocks, mm. add water, add soda. Mm. And also that we are uh, introducing other style to drink, uh, to enjoy shochu. Uh, that you can enjoy that the shochu cocktail as well. I'm, I'd like to uh, share other recipe later, but this is uh, the one recipe with Mori no Yose, as we show, showed just now, but uh, this is uh, made with coffee, the instant coffee. 
I think it's getting a very, very popular to use soju in cocktail nowadays mm -hmm. because it's kind of low ABV mm -hmm. and you can get different variety of taste. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. The soju cocktail you can have before the meal or after the meal, mm -hmm. but we usually have soju during the meal, doing that the food pairing or that the just that the with that the dinner together. That's the that, uh, normal, like, usual style mm. with us, with the Kagoshima people. Like a yakitori. Yes. Yakitori, yakiniku, tempura. It goes well with that, that uh, sick, deep fried. Sick, yeah, deep fried thing or sick sauce. It doesn't uh, disturb the dish and then you can go smoothly. Like, um, I like drinking shochu during the meal mm. very much. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. I think now it's a lot of uh, different restaurants, not just a uh, Japanese restaurant, mm. even different style of cuisine, like some steakhouse, some mm. French restaurant. They are having a lot of soju as well mm. to pair with food. So yeah. yeah, I think if the people at home can try as well mm. to Yes, yes. And let us know which one is the best or your favorite combination mm. or pairing. It's very easy. Yes. It's like an experiment. Mm. Experiment. <laughs> you buy that the carbonated water or the tonic water. You can, you can add it and make your home easily. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, Sweet. I think that uh, we, uh, if you want to know that the more detail of that the process of shochu making, then you can ask on that the comment. Or oh, we have comments, shall we? Oh, uh, thank you for sharing that. Actually, that the uh, nishi shudo is now starting sake brewing, so one plus one, uh, and then maybe more coming. I think that many that the yes. are are trying that the new challenging. Yes. yes. So this one, this one is in Chinese. So they're talking about the little kids. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, little kids tea. Yeah. You you can drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> yes. So this one at Yaku is very nice. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never try, but I add this one with milk. Is yes. This I usually good. drink with yes. this, this one with milk. Oh, but it's very good idea. Thank you for sharing that the recipe. Okay. So now. Let's talk about that. Uh, let's introduce our imo shochu. Mm, so made from sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So let's start with uh, this one. Sweet potato is this one, right? Yes, sweet potato sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dan mori no yose. So this is the mori no yose, sweet potato shochu. Mm. You want to try? Yes. <laughs> yes. Never say no to never say no to soju, right? <laughs> so this is at the imo shochu, but especially this is at the yaki imo shochu. Yaki imo is a baked potato, baked sweet potato. And uh, the imo is imo is kobane sengan imo. It's like white color imo, that very big. White color, white color. I think it's quite. Special in Japan, right? Because I think in Hong Kong, mm. I've never seen a white. Mm. It's very potato. big, it's very special uh, uh, sweet potato for making shochu. It's very big and then it has many starch inside, so very good for making shochu. Mm. And um, this is uh, made from, made, made with uh, black, ri black rice kochi. Black koji. Black koji, yes. Black koji. And then I show here that the distillation process, mainly there are two kinds of distillation uh, process. One is atmospheric pressure, and then another one is low pressure. This is made with the, the, this, uh, atmospheric pressure. Low, low pressure, L O, right? Low pressure. L O, yes. W. L O W. Low, yeah, L O W. Yes, low, low, pressure. low pressure. So low pressure 
you add the pressure in that uh, pop still mm -hmm. so that the boiling contents uh, boil start boiling in that the lower temperature mm -hmm. but what the what's the uh, flavor you main main difference of the flavor about the about the two method so around at the lower pressure uh, distillation oh. around the 68 centigrade at the water uh, temperature it start boiling so then that the components doesn't come that much up to that uh, uh, dilution process mm -hmm. so it has more lighter and sharper flavor mm -hmm. lighter and, and sharper right? yes lighter and sharper so it's nice uh, with uh, the uh, mizuwari sometimes or the on the lock very sharp mm. so and then on the other hand the atmospheric pressure is what we are drinking now uh, this is uh, distilled under that uh, like a normal pressure mm. so at the 100 centigrade uh, water temperature it started the uh, moromi start boiling so it gives it said that it gets more like component out from the, the moromi and it has more like rich and complicated or like in good way uh, aroma Mm. So that means you mean is uh, the second method will be get more flavor and a more rich aroma from the raw ingredients, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Mm. How do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. <laughs> a lot of uh, back street, you know, when you go to barbecue. Mm. So for us, we will put the uh, sweet potato under the charcoal, mm -hmm. or next to the charcoal, kind of. Then when when you open it up and like a lot of the sugar from the sweet potato will be coming out and mm. like this kind of flavor will be fine in the this one. Mm. So you know, I want to have some barbecue now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good temperature today, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has a very very like rich aroma and then smooth mm. the taste. Mm. Mm. Should we move to another one? Yeah, or? let's cook it. So it's all of them have the honkaku. Yeah, honkaku shochu. So honkaku shochu, one time distillation and then hundred percent ingredients. Mm. Uh, natural ingredient, hundred percent natural ingredients. And uh and Daya is the one is with, with first taste. Yes. Yes. So yes. it's more in the light chi aroma, right? Yes. Yes. But where's the so th this one is sweet potato and this one is sweet potato? Why is so different flavor? Like this one is more light chi aroma and this one mm. is more why is it? Why is there so many so big different? Uh, the producer said that it's because that the koji they used and also that the uh, kinds of the, the sweet potato also. So you mean it's different type of sweet, sweet potato? potato? Yes. Mm. Mm. And then this is also that uh, it says that the kojuku, it kojuku imo. Mm. It's a uh, fermented. They, they they use the special technique to ferment that sweet potato mm. to enhance that, that this like, special aroma, but it's very unique. That they produced this bottle like three years ago, I think, and uh, they it's totally different than that uh, uh, like, uh, typical like kagoshima shochu, and it's very bit different style. So, um, I've heard that many people start drinking shochu as well, who are, who are not used to drinking shochu before. Mm. Mm. And uh, this also that the ABB is 25% and the distillation is low pressure. Mm. I think this one is, this? no, I drink this one, yeah. Oh. I'm drinking the first one, the more you also, oh, right. yeah. And I think it's very different because this one is more fruity, mm -hmm. more kind of easy to drink, mm -hmm. and this one is more rich mm -hmm. of the sweet potato aroma. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite interesting because even though you're kind of using the similar ingredients, but the flavor is quite different. Mm -hmm. So I think because of all, some of the like bartender they have told me also they 
that's why this one is the interesting part for them to use in the cocktail as well because mm -hmm. Different sweet potato, you have different aromas, so it's easy to use in cocktail mm -hmm. and with, mixed with different ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our bartender is now the, the library's bartender, also the staff uh, like to use this uh, the, the cocktail ingredients mm. too. Mm. Okay, next, shall we? Yes. Uh, so that the Danyame, I'm going to. Uh, Introduce the share with you some recipe with that. Uh, that you can make it home. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this one is like uh, mixed with some juice yes. and soda. Yes. Yeah. Diame mystery, diame soda, five and five mm. with mix, mixed berry. Mm. Mm. I think the ratio you can adjust by your preference because yes. Yes. some people want a little more strong and then add more soju inside. <laughs> 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 it depend on depend on the occasion. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> not always. <laughs> so other styles also there that uh, that you may. Yeah, you can go home. I will try this recipe. recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very really easy. You can go to the convenience store and then get some your favorite fresh juice and then mix together. Yeah, yeah. I think last time I bring this box. I bring the soju home mm -hmm. and I have a party with my group of friends, mm -hmm. like four or five, mm -hmm. and then they. Some of them they, they taste it already, and some of them like uh, drink it straight up. Some of them add some soda inside. Some mm -hmm. of them add some tea inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's like one bottle you can fit for everyone. Mm -hmm. if you want a strong, you can have strong. If mm -hmm. you want some cocktail, you can have some simple cocktail at home. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite yeah. user friendly. I <laughs> think that the shochu is that the shochu is very good point that you don't need to drink in this style. But you can choose your own style mm. and then yeah, customize as yes. you like. And then next one is we are introducing flamingo orange from Kokobushuzo. Actually, this is very like different that than that the other shochu. As I, uh, the at the process of the shochu, I said that the usually that the first fermentation, the producers use at the kome koji. But this is 100% imo koji, uh, no, imo ingredient, 100% made from imo. So the first fermentation, they make imo koji first. So in, instead of uh, rice koji, they use imo, so sweet potato koji. Rice koji. Rice koji. Rice koji. They, it's, rice is not used at all for this process. Oh, so it's not a. Ah, so they only use sweet Imo, potato. Sweet potato uh, and uh, making sweet potato uh, koji is you need a very special technique, and then it's difficult. Uh, the kokubushu zo has been trying to make that this style shochu. Uh, it is ABB is a bit higher, I get twenty six percent. Slightly higher. Slightly higher. <laughs> and uh, made from the lower pressure. Mm. Mm. But why is it called flamingo orange? It's that. Why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> and I think after you drink it, then, then you will understand why it's called flamingo orange. Mm. I think it's more, I think this one is fruity, this one is rich, and this one is more uh, give it citrus. Mm. Yes. yes. The, the bottle mm. design is very cute, and also that, um, you know, flamingo. Yeah, they have flamingo mm. and orange. Mm, I think they, because there's so much citrus and an orange, mm -hmm. meat, Flavor. So, I think this one is a special aroma that comes from their unique technique, right? Mm. We are mm. Mm. After that, the tongue that is the, the citrusy, also mm. so very the like image of. This shochu is 
smoky. If you drink it, I think you understand. Maybe <laughs> it's, you know, if you have, it's all flamingo. Some, some people have. If the people have at home have this bottle, you can have a try and you understand what's why we say this one is more in a citrus aroma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, uh, just now we talked about the Honkaku soju, right? Mm -hmm. So this one is a yeah, word. Yeah, Honkaku soju, the yeah. word. Then let me show our audience about the wording because yeah. it's in Chinese actually. So, can I see? Can you see? No, yes, yes. This one yeah. is Honkaku soju. Yes. So, how do you pronounce Gondoma? Eh, Bunga Suja. Yes, Bunga Suja. Yes. So, <laughs> whenever you saw this wording on the label, then it means that it's a uh, yeah. single distilled and also 100% natural ingredients, mm. right? Mm. Only those shochu are called honkaku shochu. Mm. Okay, next. Mm. Next, let's introduce... Kokuto shochu. Yeah. So, kokuto is mean brown sugar, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm yeah. learning Japanese. <laughs> Brown sugar, but it's not the sugar. It's uh, the very uh, like sugary, but it's like kind of the it's sugar rock, rock. sugar rock, yes, yeah, yeah. sugar rock. So it look like this. Yes. Mm. And then first we are into uh, this is at the Hatono Akebono from Machida Shuzo. Yes. Let's <laughs> have so that the bottle is really. This also at the seven twenty mil bottle. Usually that the this is nine hundred mil diameter is nine hundred mil, but the others are seven twenty mil. I think this bottling is quite unique, yeah, right? Yeah, very unique. It's the, any standard for the bottling? Nice color. Actually, not really. So it doesn't need to be black or it doesn't need to be... It can be, be any color, right? Uh, it tends to have that the black color, so that the black or brown bottle, so that the direct sunlight doesn't go in. Mm. So that's why I always saw the bottle color is Dark, more dark in color. Mm. It's not much soju bottle is transparent. Mm, mm. Yes. You may see that the sake bottles are transparent, but uh, not soju. Not soju. Mm. Mm. I think it's very different from mm. sweet, sweet potato. Yes, sweet potato soju. Mm. It's more mm. vegetable. Vegetable? Yes. Mm -hmm. Vegetable. Mm -hmm. Earthy. I think if the people want to try, you can let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I check that uh, comment we have? Uh -huh. So this is new high for recipe of Samarino. Mm, Samarino Mon is this one. It's the, uh, this one. Yeah. Samarino Mon, we didn't. Uh, Highball recipe, you mean some cocktail recipe? So, like, if you having this samurai no mon, how you would recommend them to drink? Uh, you a highball usually. If you say highball, it is that uh, with carbonated soda, water, and shochu only. And uh, if you want to make this like a cocktail, I liked with that the uh, uh, coffee. If you drink with like, you mean the black coffee? Black coffee, yes. You dilute it with, with the black coffee is actually it's nice. I think this one, the aroma is compared to this one, is it more mm -hmm. soft? I feel, I feel sharp. Sharper. Mm, sharper. Mm. So, but if the best way for yourself, you mm -hmm. recommend it straight up or on the rolls, or you can make some. Yeah, um, yes. If which way you will recommend? 
if you're not used to uh, drinking shochu, then you can start drinking like uh, having with the black coffee. But and maybe later on, then you may enjoy the, the uh, shochu flavor. Uh, you may want to enjoy the shochu flavor only. Then uh, on the on the rock on the rock on the rock, on the rock. would be nice. I recommend. Mm. Mm. Okay. This is very like a samurai moon is actually with the very rare shochu in Japan. It's very popular as well. It's difficult to get. Mm. When you say rare, why is rare? Because I think it's only that the limited retailers can sell. Not everybody can sell. So mm. only limited retailer get those products from that the distillery, and they are allowed to sell. Mm. I think this one is only produced twice in a year, right? Yes. Yes, yes. because uh, the sweet potato, and they use the koji is special koji. Special koji. Mm. Samurai no one. Samurai no one is a black koji. Yes. Mm. But the uh, koji's rice is special. Mm. The rice is from very long yes. history. The, um, the rice is the special rice which used to uh, harvest it in the samurai era, mm. so and then those that seeds are not grown for many years, but the producer found this seeds and started making it a uh, few years ago, and it's made. Mm. Actually, you said that twice a year, but actually it's once a year they make. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was twice a year. Yeah. Now they change to one. Yes. So we move on. So yes. How about for the for how for the this brown sugar soju? Mm. How you recommend it to drink, or what kind of food is good to pair with? This is um. I think uh, deep fried stuff it goes well. Mm. It's my personal opinion. It may be my personal opinion, but uh, um, like karaage. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I get the fried chicken in Japanese style, the fried chicken. I used to order some before. So when people good. having like uh, some karage, some deep fried french fries, mm -hmm. it's good, right? French fry may be good. Mm. Mm. I yes. haven't tried though. <laughs> french fry. I'll try, I'll try next time and let you know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next slide. Oh, what's it done? Yeah, wrong place. Wrong place. Because this one is our first time live, <laughs> so there may be some technical error. So <laughs> please be patient and enjoy some jokes first. Alright, let me open up the yeah. PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah, Jovin, that please enjoy the drink. Yes. But if I think it's going to show up. Ah, yeah. Slide. Ah, oh, no, this one. Mm -hmm. Please enjoy your drink while waiting for that. I think nowadays a lot of people doing some soju tasting as well, right? Yeah, I hope so. And uh, those, I think, those are. Also, the samples are available, so if you're a retail shop, then, then please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think some people the, already get the bottle. Yeah, we, only the sample is available. Actually, we are not importing those yet, but uh, I want to know how that opinion from your side as well. Mm. You need to give them some French fries first. <laughs> <laughs> So next one, this is the mankoi, also the kokuto shochu. The ABV is uh, higher than 30 percent, and then it's a, it is very unique. 900 ml bottle. It's 30 percent, right? 30 percent, yes. This has such a many big shochu. Hongkakushochu. Hongkakushochu. Yes, hongkaku. Yeah. It may be mirrored. Is okay? Yeah, I can see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So also they have the logo here. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's cask matured shochu for three uh, more than three years. 
and uh, uh, they used the, the virgin uh, American white oak cask to mature. So this has a bit like colored. It cannot be colored more than this. Mm. I think it's very difficult to see. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it has a slight. Mm. You can smell some oak mm. woody mm. flavor. Mm. When you're talking about the maturation, is it now it's more and more common you will see in soju? Maturation in cask, yes. It's getting mm. popular. Because I think you can give more complexity and more variety taste mm -hmm. to the soju, right? Mm -hmm. Before that, uh, even that other shochu is also aged, not in the cask, but in the steel tank or the, the hollow tank, mm. uh, at least six months or more than that. So mm. that just after the distillation, that shochu tend to have like a very spicy or spiky uh, taste or that uh, so taste. So they store, the producer store that the distilled spirits in the tank mm. around the six months at least and uh, bottle. Sometimes in the November is a season for Kagoshima Shochu. Mm. Uh, some distillery bottles immediately after the, the distillation. Uh, so that they call it Shinshu, the new spirits. Mm. But it has very spiky or the, the strong smell. So if you're really, really big fan of shochu, some people big fan of alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> if you want to feel that uh, that alcohol, that the spikiness, then the, uh, be, uh, they buy those shochu shinshu mm. in November. Mm, I think this one is can can say it's more fruity and so some wood, some oaky mm. and. It's like when I drink this one, it reminds me of some. It's kind of low ABV whiskey, can I say? Mm, similar, similar, similar because it's matured in the, the cask. And then this is, you know, I like drinking this on the rock. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. You can add some water. Mizu mm -hmm. Wari. Yes, Mizu Wari. Mankoi is made in Amami Islands. And there is another variety of shochu. Uh, this is uh, which I'm going to show is that the Yes Little Kiss Shochu Rikyo. It's made in Kawashima. Mm. Can drink it the uh, Yaku. The ya is it Yaku? Yeah, it's all. Yaku? Ah, yaku, yes, yes, yes. Yaku, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I, I, I want to try that. I, I tried with milk before, but this is a liquor made from rice shochu infused with red tea, kocha, kocha tea. The tea leaf is from the Tokunoshima Island in Yakushima. The leaf's name is Benifuki. Uh, Benifuki, it's said that it's good for the uh, hay fever. Mm. Mm. And uh, so the, the tea leaf is growing in Kagoshima also. Kagoshima, yes. The tea leaf itself is grown in Kagoshima Islands that calls Tokunoshima. And uh, also, kurozake is added. What is kurozake is, it's called also the black sake. Kuro is black, black sake. Black sake is... Uh, Mainly food, right? Yes, yes. Cooking. It's, like, it's cooking sake. Uh, many Japanese local use uh, for cooking. Similar to, uh, similar to mirin. But it said that it has more enzyme, amino acid, and it's very 
mild and umami flavor included. So they mix those ingredients mm. together and this is the liqueur. It's very easy for home making home cocktail. I think it's nice, uh, slightly low ABV, right? It's not 25, it's 14%. 14. 14 yes. yes. So I think it's a good way to introduce soju to people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when the people is uh, too scared about the high ABV, they can try this one first with some flavor. Mm. They, they will find out actually it's quite interesting and mm. it's so easy to drink. Mm -hmm. We also have another uh, bottle which is made with the, the coffee. Flavor, right? Coffee. Coffee little kiss. And also some sumeshu. sumeshu. And I think one is coming up, right? The yes. Kumquat Umeshu. Kumquat, yes. yes. Kumquat Umeshu is on the way to Hong Kong soon. <laughs> it will be right. available. Uh, it's made with Kim Kang. Kim known Kang. as uh, Kumkat. Kumkat. Yes. In Kumkat. Yes. Similar pronouns. Okay. Pronunciation. <laughs> yes. yes. So the Umeshu. Kumkat plus Umeshu. Plamai Umeshu. So it's once we get them, then we will inform you all. Yes. And let me know. <laughs> I, I will try first. <laughs> Those that the all bottles which we wanted to introduce today. So let's see the any questions. Yes. Come oh, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, you Harry. Harry. So <laughs> I think that's mm. it. I mean if you guys have any question, please feel free to reach out to us mm. or leave some comment for us and then um, yes. So yes, let's enjoy that uh, shochu, Kagoshima shochu yes. uh, month. Yes, and thank you for joining us today and spend some time with us this afternoon. And enjoy some soju as well. And we'll meet you guys after. Yes, thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.